following is an original presentation of USA Football for a better, safer game. Perseverance has been eloquently defined as acting steadfast despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. Or more simply put, it's not giving up. For junior quarterback Nolan McDonald and his younger brother, sophomore receiver Cameron, this translates into rigorous hill workouts that have become a daily ritual. When you want something, as bad as many football players do, nothing can stop you. You always keep your head down, you're grinding, and you're determined to get where you want to go. In a game of inches, the brothers hope that the miles put in on the hill will make the difference. Fresh off a victory in their opening game in Arizona, the Long Beach Poly Jackrabbits begin preparations for their second game by rejuvenating their bodies in a slightly non-traditional manner. Shake your face. With yoga. And look up at the sky. Deep breaths. <laughs> Be quiet. Arms out, right elbow on top. Twist the arms around and try to reach your, your fingers to your palm. If you can't reach your hands, that's okay. If it's like this, that's okay. While the players may find the poses unique. Squeeze your belly. Don't hold your breath. They say this is the hardest pose. A balance of mind, body, and soul is necessary for the grind of a long season. We had to come out the bus already with some intensity. We can't wait to the fourth quarter to do anything. Can't wait to the fourth quarter. For while outsiders only see the score on Friday, the deliberate cycle of meetings, practice, and preparation requires determination and perseverance. And if the ball is here, it's easier to work down. Because if you go here, it's hard to work back. Does that make sense? You want to show and teach your kids, one, that anything is possible. That when they tell you you can't do something, you can do it. There's always going to be somebody that's going to have your number. But what are you going to do when they have your number? Are you going to bounce back? Are you going to get up? Are you going to stay on the ground? And for me, it was about getting up and just trying again and trying again and trying again. It's a lot of life lessons you can learn from football. It teaches you so much that you don't realize when you're playing that you're learning this. And, and as you look back on it and you go through certain things, you say, okay, so when I was playing, we did X, Y, and Z. And you realize like, oh, wow, that was a life lesson, but it was taught in a football world, so to speak. Polly's opponent in week two is crosstown rival Narbonne, the 2014 CIF LA City champions. Narbonne in 2012 just demolished Polly, beat him 56 to zero. It was the worst loss they'd had since I think 1922. But there's a lot of pride for Narbonne as there is for everyone else playing Polly that we're gonna beat Polly and prove that we're the new team, right? Amongst the team is an unexpected new addition, quarterback Malik Henry. While mid-season transfers in high school are rare, it is even more uncommon when that transfer is the top rated quarterback recruit in the nation. Uh, it feels great to be back home. My grandpa, he was a principal here a while ago, and uh, it feels good to be around a family environment again and to be back in you know, a familiar area. Henry is now in his fourth high school in as many years, a journey that began first at Oaks Christian before transferring to Westlake High School for his sophomore and junior seasons, where he drew national attention and made a verbal commitment to Florida State. Cheer left wagon, small chair. On go, on go, ready? After a brief stint at the IMG Academy in Florida, his return to California means added competition for Nolan McDonald, making it all the more important for Nolan to solidify his role at Narbonne. And while Malik will not be eligible to play for another week, 
He hopes for a storybook ending amidst an already established cast of characters. Football, I mean, it's my passion. It's just something I, you know, something that drives me, something, you know, I wake up thinking about, and uh, it's just something I love to do. The bus ride to Narbonne is only eight miles long. The players know there is even more at stake than in their first contest. Hey, so look, man, we did everything we needed to do for the last two weeks prepare. They said last week was hard, traveling at 6 o'clock in the morning, playing in 107 degree weather, playing against the state title. <laughs> Took care of business number one, all right? Washed our hands, did what we needed to do. Let me just give you a history lesson real quick about this game. Five times Polly's played them, five. They won four, Polly. They feel they got another opportunity to get number two. This team right here is in a different mindset. You guys have proven that through the spring, through the summer, through everything we've thrown at you. You guys have answered the bell every time. You've answered the bell. Enjoy playing for you seniors. This is your second game of your senior year. Second. <laughs> Polly in the white jersey, black pants, and traditional gold helmet set to kick off. Up the middle, and he's got some room across the 34. Gauchos moving the ball well, and it's intercepted! DeAndre Pierce with the spectacular play, and that halts the drive. McDonald back to pass, looking to his left, firing, and he's got his man Jack Jones for another first down. Hey, Ruff, I know, I know you saw my like, corner touch the receiver. Impossible that we didn't see that. Impossible. Talk to me, please. Please say we saw that. I didn't see it, coach. The corner jammed the guy and backed up. That's why the receiver went out. I'm trying to. On the other side? Yes, yes. So on number three, on that side, before they called procedure, the corner jammed the, 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 the receiver. That, I, I thought so too, but I'm not over there. I don't know what he saw. I don't know what he saw, but we'll go talk to him. Okay. Okay. I got you. We're good. We're good. I got him. I got him. He said, I'm not. I'm Let's go, man. <laughs> you gotta love it. After an intense first quarter yielded little by the way of points, the Poly special teams struck first. And that kick is blocked. And Polly recovers. They'll take it in for the touchdown. Josh Brown came right up the middle to make the block. Narbonne would immediately respond with a touchdown of their own. And with the Poly offense continuing to struggle, the Gauchos took a three-point lead into the half. Ball. Honestly, man, the reason why I came back today, because when I left, when I think it's normal, my, my junior year, we lost zero to 50. And in my, in my locker room, we came at halftime, we didn't have no leadership. But Jack Jack Dig was, was really big. I didn't, I didn't think he had it in him until I came to this first game. Halftime, y'all down. So he believed in y'all. What y'all gonna do for him? What we gotta do is capitalize, guys. When we make big plays, when we got an opportunity to make plays, we have to make them. We have to make them. Returning to the field, the Jack Rabbits were determined to produce an offensive spark. And on their opening drive, Nolan McDonald needed to look no further than someone he's been throwing to his entire life, his brother. It's Cameron McDonald, breaks a tackle, still on his feet, has some room down the sideline, gets a block from Hamilton, he might go, one man to beat, and they're not gonna catch him. Brother to brother, spectacular play from the sophomore Cameron McDonald. The poly lead was again short-lived. The Gauchos would mount a 10-play, 96-yard drive to take the lead. And just like that, Narbonne back on top. For star wide receiver Jack Jones, playing nearly every down of the game, 
the ability to persevere through physical punishment is as much mental as it is physical. Come on, Jack. Come on, it's a timeout. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Come on, I got nobody else. I got nobody. I wish I had somebody else, boy. We don't, we don't right now. Come on, come on, come on. Trailing 17-14 with only minutes to play, Holly would turn again to their defense to get the ball back one more time. Listen, it's gonna be either Mike five or three buzz. Just give me a second, okay? Give me a second, line up. Third and 12, one more first down should do it. Hey, hey, we got trips. I'm thinking stick. Gauchos in the shotgun. Holly with some immediate pressure. Oh, he spun away. He got some room on the left side. But he's going to be Watch short it. of the first down stay, marker. Stay. Jack! 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 With two minutes on the clock, it would be up to McDonald to lead the team on the most important drive of his life. Holly, 80 yards away from victory. On the line, Coach Pierce would leave nothing to chance. We're rushing like this. We're looking for screen. We're looking for double pass. We're looking for all the gimmicks. This game could be over on this play. Come here, come here, come on. Line up right there at the 20. Dre, line up at the five. Line up right here. Devere, line up in the middle. Jack, line up right here next to him. Last play, last play. For the Brotherhood of Polly, their celebration was made sweeter by the challenges they had persevered together. And for Cameron, it would be enough to earn him his first scholarship offer. And to their wary leader, satisfaction that it had all been left on the field. It was a satisfying victory, proving that in the end, Perseverance is what makes champions. Good job. Thank you. Good job. I'm really, really proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. you hung in there. Thank you hung in there. You got to do what you got to do, and that's exactly what you did. Yeah. All right? Yeah. All right? You did good. Like I said, you've been there before. I'm sitting there that's, by the stand that's thinking, that's hey, he's been here before. He's been here before. He can pull it out. Been there before. That's what I was thinking the whole time. Yeah? <laughs> Celebrate with your teammates. I know. We got to go back to work, though. And then, uh... Go back and compete. Exactly. Another two weeks of competition. All right? Yeah. All right. I love you. Love you Great job. Thank you. Great job. On the next episode of Football for Life. Are they better than us, Emmanuel? What they do better than us, man? I'll tell you what, right now they're doing the little things right. Jack Jones running down the sideline. Bishop Gorman is in many ways the anti-poly, I think. They're a new school, they're a private school, they're big money. If we were a restaurant, our menu would have one thing on it, football. I'ma do this here forever. Forever. I'ma do this here forever.